Yes, yeah, so hi, this is Niaje.com and uh, today I'm hanging out with uh, Roy Ogola, very popular name uh, of the last, uh, in the last few days. Uh, Roy, there is this issue of uh, Mike Sonko and uh, Rachel Shabesh and, you know, nude pictures all over and, you know, it's such a shame by the way. Uh, and your name has been adversely mentioned in the, in the, in the leaking of these pictures. Yeah, and my, yeah. Name, my name has been mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, rightly so and wrongly so. Mm -hmm. Rightly so because I, I, I was involved in getting to unveil the person behind the pictures. The pictures yeah. were leaked, then I worked my ways out to unmask the person behind it because everyone was asking who is the person behind it. So being that I unmasked the person who was behind it and the person who was behind it feels threatened. So it's made me part and parcel of the discussion because apparently the guys who are behind the pictures are unknown. Apparently. Mark that word. Apparently. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And I can confirm. Yes. Um, the picture with Mike Sonko uh, in bed with Shibesh sleeping on his, um, on his shoulder mm -hmm. and uh, him facing the camera. I posted that picture and I did that deliberately because um, I, I knew about these pictures leaking mm -hmm. from an aide of Mike Sonko who organized a meeting between him and some bloggers. Okay. And the bloggers were supposed to have been paid one fifty thousand shillings, but then uh, each each no 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 uh, fifty each for the three so one fifty, mm. but he gave them fifty for to start the work. Then he was supposed to have done that later. Mm. That's the allegation that I had. So when this I, I tried my level best and get all of Shebesh. Shebesh is my friend. I worked with Shebesh in ODM into a seven, and we've not lost that simple friendship. You know when the issues we talk, and I tried getting all of her, but her phone wasn't she wasn't picking up her phone. So I sent her a text. And I told her, first I complained to her as a friend that this new spate of violence, Mara Metapwana Kidero, Mara she's having a problem with Zonko, Mara she's got an arm twisted by Zonko, is not organizing well with the women of Nairobi. She needs to settle down mm -hmm. and work. Yeah. So I sent a text and told her about these pictures. That was, I got the information on Sunday. I was hanging out with my friends. Then now this is on Monday. So on Tuesday when these pictures came out, I really felt bad that this is a friend of mine who I know so well being humiliated Simply because they have a political difference with someone who it's alleged that they have a, an affair with. Until these pictures came out. And I worked my ass out, literally, to try and get the person behind the pictures. I knew the person behind them. But you know what? People can't trust you if you don't have an evidence to the same. Mm -hmm. So my evidence was to get this picture and try to find out. And by good luck, the bloggers, I'm a blogger. And we all talk, you know that. We talk, mm. there's a way we can we find, find out we are fighting, but we don't fight literally. Yeah. So I managed to convince one of these guys to send me a picture that they were holding as leverage in mm -hmm. case their money is not paid. Okay. And that picture was given to me on Wednesday around 4 p.m. And I used that picture and I said, this is the last confirmation. And actually posted on Twitter, KOTs, this is the last confirmation. I've been saying this from Tuesday, yesterday, that I am very sure Mike Sonko is the man behind these pictures. But now this is the evidence. Okay, so what you're saying is that uh, our, our senator is a guy who actually took these pictures because they were from his phone, according yes. to you. Yes. And he's a guy who released them to, 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 to sort of fight uh, Shebesh. Yes. And to, 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 to basically use the pictures this to tarnish her name. Tarnish her name simply because you, you've heard it, it's been the news. They had a fight. Both at um, some, uh, some hotel, Crown Plaza, yeah. they had a fight in Parliament. And when he was asked about this, he actually came out and said, yes, we had a fight because she's snooping on the government for Raila for the position. And probably I think it's very uncouth of a, a leader to decide to do such a thing to a fellow leader simply because of political differences. But, okay, uh, forgive me for saying this, but I have seen uh, Sonko do crazy things. Uh, I've seen him cutting a, a, a clamp from his car. Yes. I've seen him, you know, uh, uh, doing just things you don't expect a leader and to be those, doing. And those are the things that make me mad. Sonko has fought enough with walls. He's slept on tarmac enough. He's, 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 he's broken bottles in front of media houses enough. He's broken clamps for city council enough. And I think it's now time for him to concentrate and serve Nairobians. And I was going to say this. It's, it's, it's very funny, but... Sonko has been on, on, on air with the recordings of a phone call he made to me. Yes, yes. He called me and had a phone call recorded. Mm. So this is a guy who recorded the NAT chairman, NAT Secretary General in a meeting. This is the guy who allegedly assaulted a guard 
in parliament and when the guard went to meet him he recorded and said the guards went to extort him so let me tell you something is people of doing anything is, is something out there you know mm. if okay. you can let me ask you um, first of all uh, like even today on nyaje we wrote about an article about him actually confessing uh, of of criminal things like recording i mean he has he says he has equipment better than nsis and al shabab and anyone else to be able to record phone conversations uh able to see messages from anyone's phones and stuff like that. He he did that on air this morning. Mm-hmm. He did that on air this morning. He confirmed it last week in a in, in the interview but not day was live on air mm-hmm. and he said again he said mimi niko na kifaa ambacho inaniwezesha kuona messages za maadui wangu na mtu yeyote ambaye nataka na najua ni si halali. So is is song above the law or something? That's the question. That's the question masking and, and, and listen here, you know, um my main beef with Sonko is not that he's not a, guy, a nice guy. By the way, I, I, that guy is a nice guy. He helped me out one time when I was starting my magazine. It's called In Touch Mtani. And when he sold him the idea, he gave us one fifty thousand and told us, "You guys, nice initiative. Go ahead, do it." And he rolled. As much as a heart, he has a heart. But leadership, boss, they say leaders are a mirror of the society. I'm not that daft. I'm not that daft. And and I think. For me as a citizen of this country for me as a human rights activist as a blogger I have an obligation to hold my leaders accountable